hello viewers i am dr r murli professor uh, department of mathematics dr ambedkar institute of technology bengaluru i will be discussing the topic analytical solid geometry for diploma students it is related to advanced mathematics too in the previous sessions we have uh, looked into the following topics what is a plane surface then the general equation of a plane how a plane surface is defined if you recall friends it is an equation of the form ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 now one important thing in this expression is that the coefficient if this is a plane surface if you take the normal or the perpendicular drawn to the surface we have shown that the direction ratios of the normal to this surface are the coefficients of x y z in this equation which are respectively a b and c then we have discussed what is the normal form of a plane then the plane passing through a single point x1 y1 z1 then the three point form of plane what is the plane that passes through three given points then what will be the condition for four points to lie in a single plane we have seen examples related to all this then what are perpendicular planes then what are parallel planes then how you determine the angle between two planes some examples in these then what is the plane through the intersection of two given planes it is like this you have a plane you have another plane passing through this line this line is called the line of intersection of the two planes you have shown that the plane passing through this line if it is this is the first plane plus some constant times the second then we have solved some examples then how you convert the general form of a plane to its normal form then the perpendicular distance from the origin to a plane which was later extended to the perpendicular distance from any arbitrary point in space and this was done through parallel planes and finally some examples friends our topic of discussion today will be what are known as straight lines it's a simple concept it is just extension of what was done in analytical geometry in two dimension so a straight line can be considered as the locus of a point moving without changing the direction of movement from one position to another we can also consider a straight line as the intersection of two planes like we just told now uh, you take two planes like this two planes always intersect intersect along a straight line so these two considerations lead to two forms of representation of a straight line these are called the symmetric form and the two plane form now the symmetric form is just an just an extension of what you have done in two dimension in analytical geometry if you remember friends if i have two points in 2d x1 y1 and x2 y2 the line joining these two points was given by x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 this is the two point form of line in two dimension now we can extend the same to 3d by adding one more coordinate x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 right that we will see in the next form but initially we will come to what is known as the symmetric form of line the equation of the straight line passing through the point x1 y1 z1 and having direction ratios or cosines there is no differentiation between these two as far as li straight lines are concerned with this is or drs abc is given by x minus x1 by a equal to 
y minus y 1 by b equal to z minus z 1 by c. As you see, these are just ratios. So, each ratio because all the ratios are equal, you can equate all the 3 to a constant equal to r. So, individually x minus x 1 by a will be equal to r which will give you x as a r plus x 1. Then you have y minus y 1 by b equal to r which will give you on cross multiplication y equal to b r plus y 1 and z minus z 1 by c equal to r will give you z as c r plus z 1. This is helpful because this will give you any general point on this line which is given by a r plus x 1, b r plus y 1 and c r plus z 1. Now, how do you relate it to this? That is where you have the next form <coughs> immediately after this. Next, you have the two plane form. What is the two plane form friends? as we recollect the two planes intersect along a straight line. So, these are two planes, this is the line that is represented by these two planes correct. So, this line in fact involves two different planes. So, this is how we define, we recall that a straight line can be interpreted as the intersection of two planes like you see here. So, every point on this line of intersection that is this is simultaneously satisfied by both the planes since it is a common point on both that is to say every point taken here because it is common to this plane as well as this plane will satisfy both this as well as this. Thus, if A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0 and A dash x plus B dash y plus C dash z plus D dash equal to 0 are two planes then all the points on the line of intersection satisfy both these equations. Hence, these two equations taken together represent a straight line which is also represented like this with a common 0 in between A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0 equal to A dash x plus B dash y plus C dash D C dash z plus D dash. How do you find the ratios of the line? It is quite simple just in one of the earlier sessions we have said how to apply cross multiplication to remember take both the plane equations A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0, A dash x plus B dash y plus C dash z plus D dash equal to 0. Rewrite the coefficients of the first plane equation with y coefficient first then z x which is A and again the y coefficient. I will repeat again start with the y coefficient b then the z coefficient x and again y coefficient repeat the y coefficient second time. Again do the same thing for the second plane which will be b dash y coefficient c dash which is the z coefficient a dash and b dash the determinant of the first sequence will give you the first ratio which you see here that is given by b c dash minus b dash c. The second ratio is the determinant of this sequence c a dash minus c dash a and the third is the determinant of this sequence the last one which is a b dash minus a dash b. So, this is how you can remember or rather this method you can use to obtain the direction ratios a b c of a line given in two plane form. Now, we will try to correlate what we wrote earlier, what we wrote earlier you have the two, player, two point form of plane you, you see here friends it is written here. So, it is just extending this to one more dimension which is z minus z 1 by z 2 minus z 1. But if you remember given any two points x 1 y 1 z 1 and x 2 y 2 z 2 in space and there is a line joining these two points the direction ratios of this line joining these two points a b c are given by the difference of the coordinates in x y and z which is x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 and z 2 minus 1. 
Hence, the denominators here which you see circled are nothing but the ratios a b c. So, that this equation immediately reduces to the symmetric form. So, either you write in symmetric form or like this, but there is a disadvantage here this if you want this form you require two points whereas, the symmetric form requires the ratios and one point on the line which is x 1 y 1 z 1. The next thing is the condition for coplanarity of lines. What is the condition that two planes can lie in the same plane? So, take two lines the first line is x minus x 1 by a equal to y minus y 1 by b equal to z minus z 1 by c passing through x 1 y 1 z 1 and ratios a b c which is in symmetric form. The second line is x minus x 2 by a a dash y minus y 2 by b dash equal to z minus a 2 by c dash which passes through x 2 y 2 z 2 and has ratios a dash b dash c dash. The condition for coplanarity is given here determinant of x 1 minus x 1 minus x 2 y 1 minus y 2 z 1 minus z 2. Remember friends x 1 y 1 z 1 can be recognized from this line x 2 y 2 z 2 from this line substitute. The second row in the determinant are the ratios of the first line a b c and the third row are the ratios of the second line a dash b dash c dash. If this is 0 you say that the two lines are coplanar or they lie in the same plane. Now, what is the equation of the plane containing them that is given by this expression it is x minus x 1 y minus y 1 z minus z 1 a b c and a dash b dash c dash which is very similar to the equation of a plane containing three points almost similar which was discussed in one of our earlier sessions. Now, with this uh, prerequisites let us move on to some problems, some examples. Now, friends observe as we mentioned the values x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 and z 2 minus z 1 in the denominators in 1 that is this one are nothing but the direction ratios of the line a b c. So, for symmetric form you require a point x 1 y 1 z 1 and the ratios a b c. So, the first example will be related to that find the line passing through the points 1 2 minus 3 and 3 minus 2 1. So, take the first point given as x 1 y 1 z 1 and the second point as x 2 y 2 z 2. So, x 1 y 1 z 1 here is 1 2 minus 3 x 2 y 2 z 2 is 3 minus 2 1 immediately identify the ratios a b c what are the ratios the ratios of the line a b c are the difference in the coordinate values of x y and z meaning to say they are x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 and z 2 minus z 1 respectively that you see here the direction ratios of the required line are a b c equal to x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 and z 2 minus z 1 which comes to 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 and 1 plus 3 which is 2 comma minus 4 comma plus 4, but because these are proportional ratios they have a common divisor of 2. So, you can remove that 2 to get 1 minus 2 2. So, you have both with you you have the point x 1 y 1 z 1 and you have the point sorry you have the ratios a b c the only thing left out is to substitute this in the symmetric form x minus x 1 by a equal to y minus y 1 by b equal to z minus z 1 by c. So, substituting for x 1 y 1 z 1 from this and a b c from what you have obtained just now immediately you get the equation of the line as x minus 1 by 1 equal to y minus 2 by minus 2 equal to z plus 3 by 2. Let us move on to the next example. Now, given a line in two plane form the question is can you convert it to symmetric form. 
So, as I told you friends, the symmetric form requires two components. What are the two components? One, you require the point x1, y1, z1 and second, you require the ratios a, b, c. When, whenever the equation, the point, sorry, whenever the line is given in two plane form, the ratios of the line are here. So, identify the x, y, z components, rewrite the components as y component of the first plane, z, x, y, then it for the second plane also y, z, x, y and use the usual determinant expansion to get a, b, c. So, let us see how to go about this example. So, the two plane equations associated, associated with the given line are x plus 3 y minus 2 z minus 3 equal to 0 and 2 x minus 3 y minus 2 z plus 1 equal to 0. What we have done is just split this with the common 0 into two different plane equations. Now, for the conversion, we need the point x 1 y 1 z 1 and the direction ratios a b c of the line. We can then use the symmetric form of line which you see here. Now, the first thing is how to find x 1 z 1 y 1 z 1, there are three options. First option in both the plane equations take x equal to 0 and find y z option 1. Second in both the plane equations take y equal to 0 and find x and z and the third option take z equal to 0 and find x and y. Either way in all the three methods after taking one of the coordinates equal to 0, you will be left with a pair of simultaneous equations which can be easily solved. So, what we have opted here is to take z equal to 0. To find the point x 1 y 1 z 1 in the equation of the line above, we take z equal to 0. So, what happens if z is 0? This coordinate vanishes, correct? So, you are left with two equations x plus 3 y minus 3 equal to 0 which gives you x plus 3 y equal to 3 and 2 x minus 3 y plus 1 equal to 0 which gives you 2 x minus 3 y equal to minus 1. So, solve these two, they are a pair of simultaneous equations in x and y that gives you x equal to 2 by 3 and y equal to 7 by 9. Since z is already 0, you should get the point 2 by 3 for x, uh, 7 by 9 for y and z equal to 0, which will be taken as x 1, y 1, z 1. The next thing is, what are the direction ratios of the line? As I told you friends, to find the direction ratios of the line, you just have to rearrange the coefficients of the equation and put them in this order. The first plane equation is x plus 3 y minus 2 z minus 3 equal to 0. So, y z x and y coefficients in order are 3 minus 2 1 and 3. So, I will write that here 3 minus 2 1 and 3. The second plane equation is 2 x minus 3 y minus 2 z plus 1 equal to 0 whose coefficients in the order y z x and y are minus 3 for y minus 2 for z, 2 for x and minus 3 for y. Repeat the y coefficient. So, I get minus 3, then minus 2, 2 and minus 3. This immediately gives you A as this determinant which is minus 6, minus 6 equal to minus 12, then B equal to minus 2 into 2, minus 4, minus of minus 2 into 1 minus minus of minus plus 2 which is minus 2 and the third is this 1 into minus 3 which is c minus 3 minus 2 into 3 6 which is minus 9. Let you see friends here minus 2 minus 2 minus 12 minus 2 9. There is a common negative sign throughout which can be removed to finally take abc as 12 2 and 9 so you have x1 y1 z1 and you also have abc what remains is to substitute in this in the symmetric form of the line 
x minus x1 by a equal to y minus y1 by b equal to z minus z1 by c. So, that you get x minus 2 by 3 by 12 equal to y minus 7 by 9 by 2 equal to z minus 0 by 9, z minus 0 is irrelevant, you just write z. Let us see one more example in the same context. Convert the line, a difference between the previous example and this is that here the two planes are not given with a common 0, they are given separately. So, you have two plane equations converted to the symmetric form. So, what you do as you did in the previous case? take the two plane equations and put z equal to 0. So, once you put z equal to 0, you get 3 x minus 2 y equal to minus 4 from the first one, 3 x minus 2 y equal to minus 4 and the second gives you 4 x equal to 8 sorry 4 x equal to minus 8 from this. So, that gives x equal to minus 2 substitute x equal to minus 2 in this to get y equal to minus 1, z is already 0. So, you have the point x 1 y 1 z 1 as minus 2 minus 1 0. The direction ratios of the line we use a similar method, take the two plane equations, rewrite starting from the y coefficient in the first plane, y coefficient is minus 2, z is 0 x is 3, repeat y again which is minus 2. In the second plane y coefficient is 0, it does not exist. Then z coefficient is minus 3, x coefficient is 4, y is 0. Simplify to get a equal to 3 into 2 6 minus 0 6, b equal to 0 into 4 4 0 minus of minus. 3 into 3 which is plus 9 and 3 into 0, 0 minus of minus 4 into minus 2 which is 8. So, the ratios are 6, 9, 8. So, you have x 1, y 1, z 1 and a, b, c substitute in the symmetric form to get the sorry substitute in the symmetric form to get this equation. This is the required equation of the line. Remember that you do not have to necessarily put z equal to 0, you can either put x equal to 0, y equal to 0 or z equal to 0. Now, in the previous example, you have seen the conversion to symmetric form. Now, what if you require the other way around? In the sense, can you convert a line to its two plane form? So, this is the line in symmetric form. So, convert the line x minus 2 by 3 equal to y minus 1 by 7 equal to z minus 5 by 8 to the two plane form. So, take the symmetric form of the line and split because these are a set of ratios split that into two, two equalities. Take the first two. So, x minus 2 by 3 equal to y minus 1 by 7. Take the last two y minus 1 by 7 equal to z minus 5 by 8, both this are taken from this, taking them pairwise. You can take even the first and last, but take any two. Take the first two, last two or first and the last, but preferably the first two and the last two. So, the first two on cross multiplication give you 7 into x minus 2 equal to 3 into y minus 1. The last two give 8 into y minus 1 is equal to 7 into z minus 5, which simplifies to 7 x minus 14 equal to 3 y minus 3 and 8 y minus 8 equal to 7 z minus 35 or shift the, all the uh, expressions to the left hand side. You get 7 x minus 3 y minus 11 equal to 0 and 8 y minus 7 z plus 27 equal to 0. These are the two individual plane equations which can be combined with a common 0 in between. So, you get 7 x minus 3 y minus 11 equal to 0 equal to 8 y minus 7 z plus 27, which is the required equation in two plane form. So, friends you have seen the conversion of a line to a, a line in two plane form to its symmetric form and conversely 
conversion of a line in two plane form to its symmetric form. The next thing, the next concept we study is the concept of the angle between a line and a plane. See how the definition goes. The angle between a line and a plane is the complement of the angle between the line and the normal to the plane. That is, you have this plane, see this figure. This is the line. I want the angle between this line and this plane. So, what you do? I want this. Say that is equal to alpha, right? So, what we do instead of finding the angle between this and this plane, this is a line on the plane, we go to this because these two are lines, this and this are straight lines. You already know the angle between two lines, but observe that this component is the complement of the angle alpha and this is 90 degrees. So, this value should be 90 degrees minus alpha. So, the angle between a line and plane instead of this and this, we go for this and this in the sense that we obtain the angle in terms of the complement. Equivalently, we are just finding the angle between two lines and the angle between two lines has already been discussed. For angle between two lines requires the ratios of the two lines a b c and a dash b dash c dash. So, let a b c be the d r s of the line and a dash b dash c dash be the d r s of the normal to the plane. Remember friends, this a dash b dash c dash are nothing but the coefficients of x y and z in the equation of the plane. Then, if alpha is the angle between the line and the plane, then 90 degrees minus alpha is the angle between the line and the normal to the plane. This should become easier because the line and the normal are both straight lines and their ratios are known to be a b c and a dash b dash c dash. Hence, we use the same formula that was discussed for the angle between two lines except that the value theta which was given to you earlier is replaced by 90 degrees minus alpha. Of course, the RHS remains the same, no change in RHS. So, cos 90 minus alpha is equal to a a dash plus b b dash plus c c dash by square root of a square plus b square plus c square into square root of a dash square plus b dash square plus c dash square. But there is a slight change in the LHS because cos 90 minus alpha is nothing but sin alpha. So, you have sin alpha equal to the same thing. Finally, alpha should be the inverse sin or equivalently sin inverse of the expression here, which should give you the angle between the line and the plane. Now, let us see some examples based on this formula. The first example is this find the angle between the line x plus 1 by 2 equal to y by 3 equal to z minus 3 by 6 and the plane 3 x plus y plus z equal to 7. As you know, we require two components. What are the two components? One a b c which are the direction ratios of the line and second a dash b dash c dash which are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane given and these if you remember are the coefficients of x, y and z in the equation of the plane. So, if you observe this line is in symmetric form and the denominators of each of the ratios represent the direction ratios of the line. So, a, b, c will be 2, 3, 6. Direction ratios of the normal of this plane which is given to you are the coefficients of x, y, z which are 3, 1 and 1. So, if alpha is the angle between line and plane, then 90 minus alpha is the angle between the line and the normal to the plane. The dr's of the line are 
a b c equal to 2 3 6 you can see that they are the denominators of the line in symmetric form and drs of the normal to the given plane are a dash b dash c dash which are 3 1 1 which are the coefficient these are the coefficients of x y and z in the equation of the plane. So, once you have a a b c and a dash b dash c dash what remains is to substitute in this formula cos 90 minus alpha equal to a a dash plus b b dash plus c c dash by square root of a square plus b square plus c square into square root of a dash square plus b dash square plus c dash square. We just rewrite the LHS cos 90 minus alpha is sin alpha and then substitute a a dash b b dash and c c dash to give you this. So, 2 into 3 plus 3 into 1 plus 6 into 1 by square root of a square b square c square which is 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square into square root of a dash square plus b dash square plus c dash square which is 3 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. This comes to 15 by 7 root 11 or as I told you earlier shift the sign to RHS in terms of the inverse function alpha equal to sin inverse 15 by 7 root 11 is the required angle between the given line and the plane. Let us move on to the next example. What difference you see in this friends? In the earlier example, the line given was in symmetric form, okay. but in this example, the line specified to you is given in two plane form. And in the previous examples, we have discussed how to find the direction ratios of such a line. So, the concept is the same that alpha be the angle between the line and plane, then 90 degrees minus alpha is the angle between the line and normal. The drs of the line are a b c equal to, I will repeat how to find the drs again, it should be easy. Take the first plane equation 6 x plus 4 y minus 5 z minus 4 equal to 0. Take the second plane equation x minus 5 y plus 2 z minus 12 equal to 0. Write the coefficients of x y z starting from y. So, y coefficient 4 z is minus 5 x is 6, repeat y 4, then second the plane equation y is minus 5, z is 2, x is 1 and y is again minus 5. Okay. Rearrange, sorry, simplify. The first ratio is the determinant of this sequence, which is 4 into 2, 8 minus 25 which is minus 17. The second is the determinant of this sequence which is b equal to minus 5 into 1 minus 5 minus 12 minus 17 and c equal to 6 into minus 5 minus 30 minus 1 into 4 minus 4 which is minus 34. These have a common divisor of minus 17. So, it, it is 1, 1 and 2. So, that is what you see here friends. The ratios minus 17, minus 17, minus 34 reduced to 1, 1, 2. And the direction ratios of the normal to the plane are the coefficients of x, y, z in this, which are x coefficient 1, y coefficient minus 2 and z coefficient equal to 3. Again, what remains is to substitute and the formula and this gives you the required angle as sin inverse phi by 2 root 21. Now, because you are in straight lines, it is quite natural that you try to find the angle between two lines also. So, the next example relates to that. Find the angle between the lines x minus 7 by 2 
equal to y plus 3 by minus 1 equal to z minus 4 by 1 and 6 x plus 4 y plus 5 z oh sorry minus 5 z minus 4 equal to 0 equal to x minus 5 y plus 2 z minus 12. Remember here that it is not the angle between line and plane, it is in fact the angle between the line and the normal to the plane, the, 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 it is the angle between two lines. In the previous case, it was the angle between the line and plane, but here it is two, two lines. So, for this it is the usual formula which you have applied in the previous sessions cos theta equal to a a dash plus b b dash plus c c dash by root of a square plus b square plus c square into root of a dash square plus b dash square plus c dash square. Now, if you observe the first line, this line is given in its symmetric form. So, the ratios of the line are the denominators of each ratio which are 2 minus 1 and plus 1 that you can see here. So, the ratios of the first line are a b c equal to 2 minus 1 and 1. The ratios of the second line of course, this line is taken from the pre previous example. So, it is written here it is the same example. So, the ratios can be obtained by this sequence which come to again 1 1 2. So, that will be a dash b dash c dash. So, cos theta equal to a a dash plus b b dash plus c c dash by root a square b square c square into root a dash square plus b dash square plus c dash square gives cos theta equal to half by substituting the individual values uh, that gives finally, theta equal to cos inverse of half which is equal to pi by 3 or 60 degrees. Now, if the two lines are perpendicular, you have seen in the earlier sessions that the perpendicularity condition requires you to just show that a a dash plus b b dash plus c c dash equal to 0. However, if you are not using this, you can directly substitute in this and you will get cos theta equal to 0, which will give immediately theta equal to pi by 2. So, that we can observe in the next example. Observe friends, show that the lines 2 x minus 2 y minus z plus 7 equal to 0 and sorry equal to 6 x minus 7 y minus 2 z plus 11 and 3 x plus 2 y plus 2 z minus 5 equal to 0 equal to minus 9 x plus 2 y minus 2 z plus 1 equal are perpendicular. What you observe is both the lines are in two plane form. So, the planes associated, so you require two components a b c and a dash b dash c dash, because in the problem itself it says you should show they are perpendicular, you just have to show that the sum of the product of the individual direction ratios of the two lines are 0. But can you find a b c and a dash b dash c dash? It is the same concept which was apply you used in the earlier two examples. For the first line which is in two plane form, for the two individual plane equations, the coefficients of y, z, x and y are minus 2, minus 1, 2 and minus 2. From the second equation, the coefficients of y, z, x and y are minus 7, minus 2, 6 and minus 7, minus 2, 6 and minus 7. So, this determinant value should give you a, b and c that you can see friends is given by minus 3, minus 3, minus 2, minus 2 which have a common negative sign which can be individually then written as 3 to 2. So, this becomes your a, b, c. Similarly, for the second line the plane equations associated with the second line are 3 x plus 2 y plus 2 z minus 5 equal to 0, whose coefficients in terms of y, z, x and y are 2, 2, 3 and 2. 
for the second equation it is minus 9 x plus 2 y minus 2 z plus 1 equal to 0. The coefficients of y z x y are 2 minus 2 minus 9 and 2. The determinant of these values should give you a dash, b dash and c dash. So, that you can see friends is this minus 8, minus 12, plus 24 which have a common divisor of minus 4. So, dividing each by minus 4 you get 2, 3, minus 6. So, that immediately a a dash plus b b dash plus c c dash on substitution gives 3 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 2 into minus 6 equal to 0, which means that the condition for perpendicularity is satisfied. So, that the two lines are perpendicular. As I told you friends, you can also substitute the entire sequence of values in the formula which was illustrated in the previous example and show that cos theta equal to 0 which will again show that the two lines are perpendicular to each other. Now, these are some examples which relate to how to convert. Uh, in fact, when we started uh, we introduced the straight line, then what is the symmetric form of the line, what is the two plane form of the line, then what exactly are the components in the symmetric form of line and what are the components in the two plane form of the line plus you have seen how to convert two plane form to symmetric form, then how to convert symmetric form to two plane form, then how you find the angle between a plane and a line and how you find the angle between a line and a line. We will now go to some geometrical considerations. The next example is related to that. Find the equation of the line through the point 3, 4, minus 3 and perpendicular to the lines whose drs are 1 is to 2 is to 2. The first line has ratios in the order 1 is to 2 is to 2 and 2 is to 1 is to 3. So, what is the geometrical aspect here? You want the this is say if this is the line, this line is passing through 3 comma 4 comma minus 3 okay. and this line is perpendicular to two lines. There is one line here which is perpendicular, there is one line here which is perpendicular. So, this line has ratios 1 is to 2 is to 2. There is another line which is perpendicular to this line, say it is here, whose ratios are 2 is to uh, 1 is to 3. So, as you see on the board, because these two lines are perpendicular to this, I can apply perpendicularity to this as well as this, right. So, I require two components to find this line. What are the two components? First component is already given which is x 1 y 1 z 1. So, we take x 1 y 1 z 1 equal to 3 4 minus 3 and assume that a b c are the direction ratios of this line. So, let a b c be the ratios. Now, if you observe this line is perpendicular to this, these two are perpendicular. So, what should happen? The sum of the product of the individual ratios of the two lines should be equal to 0, that is 1 into a plus 2 into b plus 2 into c should be equal to 0 or a plus 2b plus 2c equal to 0. The same line here is also perpendicular to this line whose ratios are 2, 1 and 3. So, again perpendicular condition should give 2a plus 1b plus 3c equal to 0. So, 2a plus b plus 3c 
equal to 0. Now, solve this by cross multiplication like we illustrated earlier start from B coefficient B C A B which are 2, 2, 1, 2 do the same thing here B C A B which is 1, 3, 2, 1 the first determinant gives you A which is 6 minus 2 B is 4 minus 3 and C is 1 minus 4 which is 4, 1 and minus 3 that is written here. So, that is what you see one of the equations is here a plus 2 b plus 2 c 2 a plus 3 b plus 3 c solving you get this. So, you have a b c as well as the point x 1 y 1 z 1 up use these two in the symmetric form of line to get this x minus x 1 by a equal to y minus y 1 by b equal to z minus z 1 by c which is the required equation of the line. So, friends in today's session you have seen what is a straight line, how to express a straight line in various forms, how to convert one form of a line to the other, the angle between a line and plane, the angle between two lines and a few geometrical considerations. Thank you.